question number one the value of planck's constant they are given h value the speed of light velocity v or the c is given 3 into 10 power 17 nanometer per second the value closest to the wavelength lambda we have to calculate in terms of nanometer of quantum of light with the frequency nu has been given we have to calculate lambda so what we can do is we can use the formula c is equal to nu lambda therefore lambda is equal to c divided by nu c is given velocity 3 into 10 to the power 17 nanometer second inverse and frequency nu is given 6 into 10 power 15 to second inverse second inverse second inverse get cancelled so 3 ones are 3 twos are 1 by 2 is 0.5 into 10 power 17 minus 15 in terms of nanometer so which is equal to 0.5 into 10 power 2 which is nothing but 50 in terms of nanometer correct so the answer is option number B, right? Question number two, the energy absorbed by each molecule of A2, there is a single molecule A2. It absorbs the energy 4.4 into 10 power minus 19 joules. And they are also given bond energy per molecule, bond dissociation energy, bond energy energy required to break the bond also given which is equal to 4 into 10 power minus 19 after that kinetic energy of the molecule per atom will be equal to okay now we will deduct these two numbers when you deduct the number 0.4 into 10 power minus 19 joules will come correct this remaining energy is converted to kinetic energy molecule absorbs this energy energy required to break the bond then after that you will get a 2 A atoms. For the 2 A atoms total energy is equal to 0 0.4 in 10 power minus 19. Therefore per atom for a single atom kinetic energy is equal to half of this one. So that is a 0 0.2 into 10 power minus 19 or is equal to 2 into 10 power minus 20 joules. Correct? So the answer is option number D. Clear? Question number 3. According to Bohr's theory, which of the following transition in the hydrogen atom will give rise to the least energetic photon? So, energy is given by the formula En is equal to minus 13.6 into Z square divided by N square. If I had to find the difference energy between the two orbits shells, it is a 13.6 into the z square for two different shells 1 divided by n1 square minus 1 divided by n2 squared forms correct this number is a constant here so delta e is a directly proportional to 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square if this number comes to be the least, then that will be the least energetic photon. Okay. So, for the first one, okay, delta E proportional to 1 by smaller number is N1, larger number is N2, 1 square minus 6 become 36. If you find this one, it will be like a 0.97 it comes. Okay. For the second one, 1 divided by 16 minus 1 divided by 25. It comes to be approximately 0 0.0225 it comes. Similarly, third one. 1 divided by 25 minus 1 divided by 36. It comes to be approximately 0 0.0172. D, fourth one. 1 divided by 9 minus 1 divided by 25. This comes approximately 0 0.071 comes. Should be very careful when solving the problem with the least number the least number is for the third one okay n is equal to 6 to n is equal to 5 
okay right question number 4 the bohr orbit for the hydrogen atom n is equal to 1 approximately is given 0.5 3 in terms of angstrom units the radius of the first excited state n is equal to 2 in the case of hydrogen atom electron is in the first shell first excited state means it will go to the second shell so n is equal to 2 so radius of any shell is given by the formula r1 radius of the first shell into n square divided by z z is the atomic number okay radius of the first shell is given 0.53 angstrom units into n square so from the first shell it goes to the second shell so n square 2 square divided by atomic number hydrogen is 1 so it is equal to 0.53 angstrom into 4 that is approximately equal to 2.12 angstrom units okay so the answer is option number d right Question number 5. If the ionization potential of hydrogen is 13.6 electron volt, then the ionization potential of helium plus will be like hydrogen like species. Ionization potential is directly proportional to the atomic number z square. Actual formula ionization energy of any species, hydrogen like species, is equal to ionization energy of the hydrogen atom into the z square this is the actual formula which is equal to so 13.6 electron volt into z square helium atomic number z is equal to 2 so z square is equal to 4 this is approximately comes to be 54.4 electron volt right okay so the answer is the first one a is the answer clear Question number 6. The measurement of the electron position if associated with an uncertainty in momentum which is equal to 1.0 in 10 power minus 18 gram centimeter second inverse. Gram centimeter second inverse. Gram is for mass and centimeter second inverse is for velocity actually. What they given is actually the change or uncertainty in the momentum they are given, which is equal to mass into delta V actually. This number has been given 1 into 10 power minus 18 gram centimeter second inverse. Correct? Then you have to calculate what is the uncertainty in the electron velocity. So, mass into delta V we have is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 80 gram centimeter second inverse correct so the uncertainty velocity v is given by the formula 1 into 10 power minus 18 gram centimeter second inverse divided by mass and this mass is equal to given 1 9 into 10 power minus 28 in terms of grams so this gram and gram get cancelled. Okay. So velocity finite will be in the centimeter second inverse. So this is equal to 1 by 9 approximately 0 0.11 into 10 power minus 18 and plus 28 from the denominator. So it is equal to 0 0.11 into 10 power plus 10 or 1.1 approximately into 10 power 9. This in terms of centimeter second inverse. Right answer is the uh, first option clear right question number seven a point six six kg ball that is the mass speed is given 100 meter per second associated with the wavelength lambda will be equal to we have to calculate in terms of meters h value has been given what is the formula this is a de Broglie wavelength lambda is equal to h divided by mass into velocity. Lambda is given 6.6 .6 into 10 power minus 34 in terms of joules second SI unit. Therefore, mass should be in terms of kgs 0.66 kg into velocity is given 100 meter per second. Okay. Joule second, the unit can be written as a kg meter square and actually second inverse 
second inverse second inverse get cancel 1 meter meter get cancel so one remains kg kg get cancel so final unit is in terms of meters okay so here it is equal to 0.1 into 10 power minus 34 comes which is equal to 1 into 10 power minus 35 in terms of meters right so the answer is option number d clear Question number 8. The orbital angular momentum of P electron is given by. We have the formula. Orbital angular momentum is given by the formula. Square root of L into L plus 1 into H divided by 2 pi. Okay. For S electron, L is equal to 0. The P electron, L is equal to 1 and goes on. Therefore, for P electron, square root of 1 into 1 plus 1 into h divided by 2 pi which is equal to square root of 2 into h divided by 2 pi this answer is not there so what you can do is multiply by square root of 2 divided by square root of 2 square root of square root becomes 2 in divided by square root of 2 into h divided by 2 pi so 2 and 2 get cancelled so which is equal to h divided by square root of 2 into h sorry into pi into pi so the answer is option number A. First one is the answer. Okay. Consider the following set of quad number N, L, M and S. Okay. Let us see the first one. When N is equal to 3, remember when N is equal to 3, L can be 0, 1, 2, 3 goes on. Correct. Okay. When L is equal to 0, when L is equal to 0, M is always equal to 0 is also correct. So, spin can be either plus of or minus of correct. First one is correct. Second one. When N is equal to 2, L is equal to 0 not possible. L should be either 0 and 1 only. Not possible. Second one is not possible. Okay. Next when L is equal to 4, L is equal to can be, it can be 0, it can be 1, it can be 2. Okay, 3 values. Okay. Now, M is equal to minus 2. Is it possible? M is equal to, when L is equal to, when N is equal to 3, M can be equal to 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3. So, it is possible. Minus 2 is possible. So, spin can be plus of minus of. Possible. Third one is possible. Fourth one. When L is equal to 0, N is equal to 0, L is equal to 0, possible. When uh, L is equal to 0, M should be always 0. So, fourth one is not possible. 2 and 4, not possible. Next. When L is equal to... When n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2 possible because we can have 0, 1 values. Okay, 2 values only. When l is equal to this, for the, for this is not possible, right? So, need not continue here. So, fifth one is not possible. So, 2, 4, 5, not possible. 2, 4, 5, not possible here. Answer is option number B, right? Now we want electron only in L is equal to 3. Fourth shell can have L is equal to 0, 1, 2 and 3. S, P, D, F subshells. Correct? Whenever there is a F subshells are there. Whenever there are F subshells are there. We can have maximum of 14 electron. Correct? Therefore, or can use the formula 2 into 2 into L is equal to 3 plus 1, which is equal to 2 into 6 plus 1, which is equal to 7, is equal to 14 electrons are there. 7 orbitals are there in that altogether 14 electrons are there. So, the answer is option number A. Thank you. Have a nice day.